This video is going to be a tutorial about how to embed Adobe Launch into your website so you can start collecting data with Adobe Analytics and utilizing Launch's tag management abilities. I'm going to assume that your property has already been created and that libraries have already been published in it. When you first open up a property in Launch, you'll be taken to this overview tab. In order to find your embed codes, you'll want to navigate to the Environments tab. Here, you're presented with three environments and you have the option to create additional environments. These environments represent the different stages of the launch publish process and loosely correspond to the different stages of developing a website. I'm gonna tell you how I like to set up my environments and what I found works best, but there are no set of rules, so feel free to adjust these directions for your specific situation or website. There are production, staging, and development environments. Each one of these environments will contain a unique embed code that you need to place in the global head of your website, depending on which development level you are working in. You'll understand what I mean by that in a second. Starting with the production environment, it contains the embed code that needs to be placed in the global head of your production website. If I click on the gray box in the install column, it will bring up the installation instructions. Here I can find the code snippet that I need. This process is the same for the staging and development environments. I like to place the staging script in the non-production environments of my site, things such as beta, test, or UAT, because staging represents the level below production in the launch publish process. As for the development script, I typically don't embed that anywhere. Rather, I use it to work in isolation from other environments. That way, any changes I make in launch will not affect the staging or production environments or any other development environments that may exist. I'll show you how to switch between environments in a few minutes. For now, I'm going to open up the production installation instructions. As you can see, I have the option to load the library asynchronously, which is one of launch's biggest upgrades over TTM. I can also choose to not load the library asynchronously, but I will need to add this extra piece of code that tells Launch that it has reached the end of my page when it loads. The general consensus in the Launch community is that you should always be loading the li library asynchronously because it increases page performance. I'm going to double check that the load library asynchronously option is selected and that the async attribute has been added to my script tag. Now I'm ready to copy the script element and head over to my website. Here, I have a simple website running locally that I'm going to place the launch code into. For this demo, I'm only going to be placing the production embed code because this site does not have non-production environments. However, this process is the same for embedding any type of launch environment. Here, I have my index.html file, which contains my global head element. So I'm going to paste the embed code here. You can put the code into your global head element in any way you see fit. For example, this is a React website, so I could make a React component that loaded the staging or production embed script based on what environment my site is currently in. But for now, I'm just going to save my index.html file, and I should see my page reload with the launch script loaded. If I hop over to my network tab, I should see a 200 from the launch library. Since I have a launch library loaded on my page, I can use the launch switch Chrome extension to jump between environments without having to embed them each time. Clicking on the launch switch Chrome extension will bring up a drop down of my available environments, as well as show me the environment my page loaded with originally. In this case, it's the production environment. If I wanted to switch to the staging environment, I, all I'd have to do is select it from the drop down and reload the page. I can see in the network tab that my page originally loaded the production library, but then redirected that request to the staging library. This is useful for testing rules and changes on the production version of a website without having to publish those changes all the way through to the launch production environment. Now that I have successfully added launch to my page, I'm ready to start setting up my analytics collection and tag management in the launch UI.